live and show you a preview of what I'm going to have for sale on um, Friday. That's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern all night. Like we're gonna go until we drop. And then Saturday, again, 2 p.m. Eastern until we just can't do it anymore. And then we're gonna finish up on Monday at 8 p.m. So I'm gonna show you what I have pulled out. There is more. Um, you would not believe how much. Okay, so let's start here. We've got some pack, like these are travel, like packs, um, brochures and maps. These are really cool vintage first aid packs that are very neat. There's some luggage labels, some, those are um, food labels, like tin can labels, more maps and things. Oop, we don't need this here. <laughs> um, oh, these are blueprints. Look at this whole box is full of, of uh, vintage uh, blueprints, copies, like prints of blueprints. Uh, airmail. These are airmail um, envelopes that are canceled and everything from the 30s. Super neat. What do we have back here? Oh, we have some uh, pages from photo albums, some old book pages. These are some scrapbook pages. These are all book pages. I'm really excited to share those with you guys. These are um, green stamp cards and books and a catalog. Stamps, I mean, and books and a catalog. Here's some kids games. Oh, look at these puzzles. How cute they are. Look. Isn't that cute? All of this, all of this is playing cards, you guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Thank you for clicking the thumbs up. Say hi in the chat. Can't. I don't know if I can see the chat, but but say hi. Um, hi. Uh, this I don't need it, but I'm gonna hold on to it. So these are cool. I got these at my local auction, and they're like zinc mason jar tops with milk glass inserts and i just thought all right those are cool and then there's the glass ones and i think we could figure something out with those got a whole bag full of repair style hi hi young mari those are pocket watches i've got clocks i figured that like i don't know um tim uh what is his name tim you know, Tim, he like is making these to look like the old ones. And I found all these old ones. So I thought, why not? We could like turn these into assemblage art. There's some more pocket watches, a bunch of other stuff. These are like, um, more pocket. I got a lot of pocket watch stuff. Um, these are some cool tumbled rocks that I collected from, um, Lake Erie. These are, um, little teeny tiny tins full of little pocket watch like gears and stuff there's keys there's um all kinds of cool stuff look at that clock isn't that pretty um there's this is all just little paper stuff so like bingo kits and playing card kits and i don't even i don't even know how to Go through this puzzle just all kinds of of really cool little things <laughs> there's some wallpaper oh look at these how cool are these i have a huge can you see how big that stack is of these there's probably 20 of them and they are um whoop, i don't need that they are children's composition books from the 20s some of them are almost empty, but a lot of them have like the child's writing in it. And the covers are super cool. This is from Fred, grade four. Um, so they're very neat. Sorry, covering my thingy. Um, there's, these are a stack of school books, like vintage school books. Oh, I've got tickets. Look at the, this is supplies. I found a bunch of this um, paper shipping tape. I have one here, but I have a, four or five of them that I'm gonna sell. Oh, here's where this goes. These are really neat, like paper sample packs. Um, well, you're gonna have to wait to see them. I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but they're very cool. They're like, 
just paper sample packs. <laughs> um, samples of paper. I think like books, sample books. There's a vintage stapler and staples. I love these. These are not old, but they're really cool. They're like Mandela painted buttons. And just like, these are some supplies in here. Look at this whole bucket. Hi, Lizzie. This whole bucket is full of pictures and I don't have them out here right now, unless this is them. No, those are pictures, but I have a bunch of empty, um, cabinet cards so they're like let me find one they're like um oh i can't find one one-handed okay so here's one there's something like this only the pictures are out of them they're empty and i thought they're perfect for making little junk you know journals or something and so i got some scrapbooks look i've got ledgers you guys can you see them down there ledgers scrapbooks look at this whole stack of 1950s uh, yearbooks. These are so cool. Look at the cover of this one. It's my favorite, I think. This is 1957, and the pictures inside are just super cool. So I've got all of those. I've got some Victorian lithographs, some other art things. Oh, you know what these are? I went to an, an estate sale, and this woman loved opera. So in the 40s, she went to the opera a lot. And inside of each of one of these is the, you know, she went to an opera. She got the, the like the program and it's inside here. Then she bought a vintage copy of the libretto. So it's like the libretto with the um, 19, from that's much older. And then the 1940s um, program from when she went to see the opera. Very cool. All right, let's see what's over here. Books, mostly. I've got so many books, you guys. Yes, Lizzie, I do. I told you, I have so much stuff. Look at these book covers. Aren't those beautiful? And I have a whole stack and another whole stack over there. But look at these. Look at the ends of those. Isn't that pretty? These are encyclopedias. Oh, and I, I sold out of these last time I had a sale, and I was able to get a bunch more. I think I have 20. And they're little handmade specimen boxes, vintage from um, a natural history museum. More books, books, books. Look at this. This is super cool. It's like a cookbook thing. And it's full of these little vintage cookbook book thingies. I love these books. Pretty, pretty. This, this whole stack is cookbooks. Lots of children's books. Some really pretty um, Reader's Digest, like the pretty, pretty, pretty ones, the floral type ones. Um, I have a whole bunch of these inside Golden Book Encyclopedias. These here are, I have a bunch of them. You can see three stacks of them. These are French magazines from the 30s. These are, um, these I thought were kind of cool. They're, um, they're not that old. They're like from the 80s. But I thought, Tim, what is his name? Tim Holtz? Holtz? Anyway, he does those people pictures. And I thought, well, like, this is what he's emulating. We might as well, emulating, we, we might as well just use, right, the real thing. So I thought those were cool. Lots of children's books, lots of cool magazines. I've got National Geographic's from the 50s. Um, oh, I love these. These are called Four Times. They're from, I have a whole big pile of them. They're from the 40s and 50s. And they're full of, uh, it's like a, a magazine that would have been in a Ford dealership, but they're full of really cool art. Isn't that cool? I've got a ton. I think I've got about 50 of those. I have some other old magazines here. Ooh, I've got ledger paper. I've got, um, oh, see, look, this whole nother stack of these My Book House books, and they're so pretty. And look at the inside. And I've got a ton of them, you guys, enough for everybody. And I have, um, I love these too. These are Audubon Nature Encyclopedias. I think I have 12 of these. They're from the 60s, but they have really great, um, illustrations and lots of, um, oh, there's a little 
a little ephemera in that one, but like lots of like this Audubon's uh, watercolors of birds. Frog. Anyway, I've got 12 of those. Um, lots of fabric. So this is all fabric. These are linens. And then I, you can see under here, I've got more fabric and linens. I've got some patterns. Oh, and this is all trims. I've got a whole bag full of um, uh, needle books. What is this book? Oh my God, stuff's just piled everywhere. Oh, look at this old Longfellow book. Um, I've got, and I have a whole stack, couple stacks of cigar boxes. I think that's about it. I'm gonna do a little slow walk by. I'd love to hear, Lizzie, what is, what would you love for me to pull out for you? I have, I, you would not even believe so much more stuff than this. There's some more supplies. Oh, I didn't show you these. These are so cool. They're microfiche rolls. Let me see if I can open this one handed. Look, so when they un unroll a little bit, let's see if I can do it. It's microfiche, see that? Isn't that cool? It's like a whole roll of microfiche. And they come in these cool red boxes. And it's the New York Times. <laughs> Isn't that cool? From night this one is from 1967. Like the whole year of New York Times from 1967, I guess. Oh no, just June. One week. June 21st to the 30th. But I have a whole box of those. Isn't that neat? It's really cool, right? I went to this um, store in Pittsburgh that has, it's like a, ah, oh, never mind. I can't put it back in one handed. It ha it's like a, a arty, old, cool stuff thrift store. <laughs> and I got those. This is like a neat old um, Victorian harmonica box. Isn't that cool? Which one for you? You want the microfiche? Let me know. I'll, I'll save one aside for you. But I do have a whole bag of them. Those are map pages from an atlas. Oh, this particular one. For I'll put, put your name on that one, Lizzie. I'll save that particular one for you. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I want to show you some of this stuff. This is all... Um, Oh, I've got, I'm, I am trying to decide if I'm going to be brave enough to auction this off because I'd have to put, but look at this scrapbook. Isn't that gorgeous? There are three loose pages, so I'm for sure going to um, auction um, these loose pages. Isn't that beautiful? Hi, Donna. Isn't that gorgeous? I got this at my local auction. And, um... I'm definitely going to auction these pages that were already loose. But I ha I don't know if I'm going to be brave enough to... to <laughs> I don't think I can take it apart. I don't think I have the nerve to do it. Um, but it's all completely full. Let me see. Just full of um, die cuts and Victorian ephemera. And look at the pages. Hi, Donna. Tomorrow, it starts tomorrow at 2 o'clock. And I hope you guys are going to be patient with me because I have only done, like, not very many other sales. And my son is going to um, <laughs> is going to be my moderator. So I have a son, Nick, who is – he's 27, and he has autism. And um, a big reason, I I'm really inspired by Maddie and Madison at Spectrum Arts. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? At Spectrum Arts. And I just thought, after seeing how, I don't know how fun it is to have Madison, I thought, my son could totally help. Like, he could do that. He could be the moderator. So he's going to be on my stream yard from his apartment. He lives in an apartment near me. And he's going to help. But it, you know, we're both learning. So I hope you guys will be patient um, as we're figuring it out. I have tons of embroidered, um, embroidered, look how cute that is. It's like a little um, crocheted, maybe a pot holder or something. 
Lots of linens, lots of fabric. Oh, look at this whole, look at the first look at the box. Dan Smith's Easter egg and the stripes. He, he is so much fun though. You guys are going to love him. And then it's all full of little buttons and stuff. I think I'm going to auction that whole little box off. What else do I have in here? Look at this. I got... It's like somebody's JCPenney. What was in here? Thermals. Thermals? But it's all full of um, trims. And I have like that cool trim. I have lots of trims. I, oh, and today I went to an auction. I'm not an auction and, and a state sale this morning and got some antique lace that is going to definitely be there. I don't have it ready for this video. Look at how pretty these are, but I do have it. It's ready to go. And I have, um, and some really neat antique fabric that's got harps all over it that will be up here. I love these magazines. Did I open one of these already? I know I did because I know I love them. I just taped it up again. These are like, they're not full of pictures, but they're full of French language, which I think is very cool. Review, Dumondes, October 15th. See, and it's got like a great um, patina to the paper, really neat font. Zero pictures. I have no idea none whatsoever what is in here i do have a ton of horizon magazines though i got them when i went to philadelphia with my daughter so if that if they're not magazines they're books like um, compilations of the magazines for the whole year and if that's something you think you would want let me know in the chat i don't know lizzie what else are you interested in I have stuff like glassware and stuff, but I think I'm gonna stick to, look at these cool pins. I think I'm gonna stick to um, junk journal crafting stuff this time. Look at those neat pen, pins, aren't they cool? <laughs> yeah, it might be 50 shades in, in French and if somebody speaks French and wants to let me know, I'll still sell them. I'll just be able to like play it up. <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, these cool, um, like Paris, these are, um, these are just, um, my brain is going blank. They are, uh, cards, like greeting, not greeting cards, but blank cards. Some really neat old school books. Um, so many playing cards, you guys. Just, you wouldn't even, I live in a place where there's like, a lot of old people <laughs> and they like playing cards I think because I find them at the estate sales for like 50 cents or whatever and I just buy them and then I've got a bunch and I can sell them cheap to you guys all right I think that's gonna be it I'm gonna just keep getting ready oh these are really cool let me show you these these are like those um I've never seen this before it's like those um you know, the recipe cards, only they're craft cards. Isn't that kind of cool? So I, I have a ton of packs of those because I bought this whole thing um, full. And then I divided them up. And I think there's like 20 or 25 in each baggie. I love these clocks. These little um, pocket watches. I need to get rid of this stuff so I can buy more stuff. At my auction <laughs> which is not happening it didn't happen this week so i'm just gonna like i didn't add more stuff and now i'm going to be able to um get rid of some stuff and then we'll get started again oh these are catechism books that's kind of cool very old well it says 54 and I'm wondering if that's not 1854 these are definitely not 1954 hi Alyssa oh, I'm glad you're here hi oh now there's five people and I don't feel like leaving <laughs> I'm just gonna since there's more people I'm just gonna walk up and down my little aisle again I've got some really neat 
um, these are just, um, these are from a, a cash, um, what do you call it? Like a ca a cash ledger, like a, um, you know, like their financial ledger for a hotel in Puerto Rico. So it's all in Spanish. Tons of really neat. I love this little bitty. It's like a little tiny. It says petite um, cigar box. This is my favorite one, I think. It's like a teeny tiny. 20 cigars. Little bitty cigars. Better for your lungs. Brick house. I got these last week at my auction. Look how pretty. Pretty, pretty. I don't know how old. Oh, that one's kind of a mess in the inside. That's okay. These are, uh, oh, that one I might not try to sell. It's all the way cut, cut through, but, and they're not that old, but they're still cool. I have several. Can you shop now? Um, you can shop tomorrow at two o'clock. I am not set up for shopping right now. But Alyssa, tell me, look at how cool that clock is. Tell me if there's something that you want me to pull out. Like, is there something you're really looking for? And I will do my best to see if I have it. I have a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, you guys. It's kind of embarrassing how much stuff I have. Like I have these old vintage um, matchbooks that are super cool. You guys are gonna come to my sale, right? Don't let me be all by myself. You know what these are? I make notebooks out of um, record albums and these little scraps, I cut into like these little bitty things that I thought, at one point I thought I was gonna make, do the work of making them into little bitty, teeny tiny um, notebooks, but I didn't have the time, but they're super, super neat. So I have so many of them, look. And I just put them together um, for you guys. So I think I've got in here, these ones, I, yeah, there's five little sets in there for a dollar. That is gonna be tomorrow. Oh, these are cool little bridge sets. So there's those neat round cards and then these are tally cards and score pads sheets i put some of those together for you guys look at how cool this little thing is it's like a little bitty pillbox from the 30s <laughs> it's empty but it's really neat and this one is i don't know how old this is but it's a um vintage thread box from paris i thought that was really cool so i just have a few little neat things these are little gears and stuff from watches Somewhere around here, I don't think I'm going to be able to get my hands on it right now because I feel like it might be downstairs. Oh, these ones are match boxes. So I've got some match boxes and match books. But I also have um, these little bitty envelopes. They're like this big, and they each one has a little watch crystal in it, and I put together sets. I think it's four little sets for um, that you guys, like there's four of them in a pack. They're really neat. These are um, coin flips, vintage ones though. So they, they're, I have new ones and these are made nicer and they're, they're like got a patina to them. Like they're aged, you know, these are bingo cards from the thirties. What do I have here? Oh, this is just some vintage, um, uh, paper or I might not even be vintage. I'll have to look, but I, it's like nice paper that I, I found and I just broke it up into, into packs for you guys. Um, Ooh, library, um, card catalog cards. Oh, I missed that note. I'm going to see it. Someone said, see you tomorrow. And I hope so. Oh, these are vintage index cards, which I really like the old vintage stuff because they're made better. These are cool postcards, but they look like Polaroid photos. Um, and I also somewhere, which I don't see them here yet, so I'm not gonna be able to show them to you right now, but I have, I found a bunch of vintage um, paper clips. Oh, I do have some here, because these are the coolest. See the shape of them? 
And that's the size of them too. They're really neat and they, because they're so old, they have a really cool patina, like they're aged. So I think I have 12 of those for you guys. I put them in little baggies already because I'm like all, I'm all on top of it. Yep, I'm still pulling stuff. This is like a little time, it's an unused time book. Um, I don't know what a time book is, but it's from the Elk Creek Coal Company. It's old. Somebody's written on it and stuff, but it's still really cool. Okay, I think you'll take some paper clips. Good. I have a bunch of them, Alyssa. There will be plenty. And um, if you guys see something that you want, make sure you email me at, um, at Ninja Writers Shop at... Uh, gmail.com ninja writers with an s shop so two s's uh at gmail.com and let me know <laughs> and i'll make sure to put one aside for you too like if you really want the paper clips or whatever so that you since you were here for the preview live and didn't make me talk to myself i will make sure to put one aside for you um and Yep, we're just going to do our best to get through as much as we can and then just save the rest for the next sale. This is a really neat old um, first aid book. Isn't that cool? The illustrations in these things just, to me, are so amazing. This is a book written by Mary Pickford. And it has some, you can see there, it's got some really cool pictures of her life. These are lady poets and they're so pretty. There's a, a book about old glass. I have a ton, a ton of books. Like, I, you would not even believe. Oh, I've got a bunch of just book. Um, these are just the covers of books. So they can go, they'll be super cheap to ship. And um, you'll, I, have, I have a lot of these. Because when I moved here to Pennsylvania from Nevada, I couldn't bring all of my old books. So I just... I rather, I just kept um, the covers because I, I, I've had a business a long time of, of turning them into notebooks and I just haven't had the time to do that recently. So I've got a million of them and I think I'd rather just sell them to you guys and let you do that work. These are so pretty. What is this? This is, I have some really cool encyclopedias. So these are Chambers is encyclopedia. Look at the end paper and this. Isn't that pretty? And they have these I love because look at that. They have like pull out maps. Isn't that lovely? All right. I think I'm done here. So I will see you tomorrow. Go ahead and send me an email if you would like. And I will send you a reminder tomorrow to come visit me. Look at all this stuff still. Oh my poor attic, but I did just get air conditioning in my attic so I can do my sale up here instead of lugging everything downstairs, which is lovely. All right, guys, that's it. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for coming to hang out with me. I'm really glad I did this because now I feel a lot better. Like maybe I'm not going to be here all by myself um, for my sale. Oh, I don't know how to turn this off. Okay, everybody have a great day. I'm going to see if I know how to turn this off oh i totally don't oh there yep i want to stop streaming bye everybody